Uh, my first question is, at the end of season two, you see, you know, your r ragged band of uh, slaves or whatever kind of working, finally working together and yeah. getting off that mountain. How much time goes on between the end of that season and the beginning of the season? Yeah, it's a while. It's been about six months in a year. So there's been a lot of war in between then. Romans kind of started taking us a lot more seriously and they aren't messing around. But they also aren't doing that well. So we've had a few victories and we're doing pretty well as a unit. So at the start you can say we're doing pretty well. That we're, we're a team. But really still all the underlying tensions between all those characters are still bubbling away. And there's a lot of twists and turns this year. I just got off a plane and having done some of the toughest emotional scenes I've done with Crixus, with Manu. So there's a lot of stuff to come that's gonna really knock you some stuff. Uh, last season was all about vengeance and that's yeah. kinda over, so where where does Spartacus get his motivation now? Well that's the thing, that's, that's one of the best parts about playing this character, because right now he's in, he's in all business mode. He's the commander in chief of an army and he doesn't mince words like he used to sometimes, you know, he's going taking advice and you know crumbling sometimes and going, alright, so sorry, we'll, we'll fix that up this time. It's just my way of the highway somewhat. So the great thing about that is that he's now in this position where he's doing a very masculine thing and trying to shut himself off from emotions because he's put the full stop on his vengeance, as it were, and realized that he's got a bigger task at hand than, you know, keeping his army alive, keeping his slaves alive. So he's trying to shut himself off emotionally because he just has to be in business, but he's a good person at heart, he can't do that, so that is going to weigh on him really heavily as we go through.